Good evening. How you doing? This is Minister Peyton Moore of 66 Books of Truth Ministries. I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day and that God is blessing you and that God is keeping you. I am here today to bring you a message, a message, a message. I would love for you to turn your Bibles to Luke 21, 16, Luke 21, 16. And these are things that's going on on a daily basis in our lives, even in my life, uh, even in your life. These things will happen and people will come against you. Uh, the evil spirit is out to uh, try to destroy you or to try to dismantle you and your family. Uh, to try to break up relationships and marriages or to try to hurt you financially or in many different ways and and the scary part about it the scripture is going to be direct and the scripture is not cutting any corners it's not even holding back Luke 21 16 says you will be betrayed even by parents and brothers relatives and friends and they will put some of you to death and you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head shall be lost. By your patience, possess your soul. Luke 21, 16, a very powerful scripture. If we go back in time and we look how uh, Joseph brothers betrayed him for 30 coins. We go back and look in the New Testament where you see how Judas betrayed Jesus Christ for 30 coins. Seems like it's always about the coins, right? So you will show envy. You will show jealousy. You will show hate. You will show hate, dislike, trying to get back at someone. So you will betray them. Or just think how Peter denied Jesus three times in the rooster crow. But the thing about Peter and Judas, Jesus was sitting at the table and he already knew who was going to betray him and deny him. He already knew. So there are things that, that, that are, are people in your life that you already know. They're out to get you. They're out to destroy you. The, the Bible just told you who these people could be. They could be your parents, your brothers, your relatives, and friends. Some of them want to put you to death. Some of them want to see your marriages destroyed. Some of them want to see you not doing good. They want to do everything to hurt you. They, they will lie on you. They will even try to sue you. But these are the same people that come into your home, sit at your table, break bread with you, and hold a conversation, and at the same time, they're hating on you. They don't like you. They, they envy you. They're jealous of you. They dislike you. They hate you. But they, they, they don't want that to come out of their mouth. Because whatever is treasured in their heart will soon come through their mouth. They will speak it. And they will show it. So this is why we got to have the Holy Spirit in us. This is why we got to make sure that we use the wisdom that God gave us to identify these things. Here's another area. After someone betray you and do evil things toward you or toward a family member or whether it's a friend or a family member or whoever it is that do these things do these things to you, you can forgive them. But you don't have to reconcile into a relationship with them in order for you to be happy. Because they may not be ready in their heart to really, you know, want to accept forgiveness or be forgiven. 
So what you got to do is that you got to forgive them and move on. You got to forgive them and not let them back in that space again. Even if you do reconcile, you got to put some boundaries. You got to put some guards. You got to put some gates up because they will try to come back and step back over that line to hurt you or deceive you in any form or fashion. This is why you have to stay in the word of God. This is why you got to have the Holy Spirit. This is why you got to stay prayed up because they are out to devour you. They're out to hurt people like you and me. People with good hearts that try to help people, to try to sit and encourage them, talk to them, and help them in any way that you can. But then they'll come back and bite you like a snake. There are some people out here, they're more poison, they have more poison than them. That comes from poison ivory than the venom that's in a snake. They're out to bite you. They're out to hurt you. And the Bible just described who it is. So the whole scenario of this, you will be betrayed even by your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your relatives, your uncles, your aunties, your cousins, your best friends. Sometimes you'll be betrayed by your own husband or your wife. All because of 30 coins. Some money. Jealousy, envy, hate. That's a shame, but it's true. And a lot of us are going through this. We're dealing with this. So what you do is you pray about it. You give it to God. And these people that, that do these things to you, you don't put yourself in a position to have any contact with them to where they can be uh, uh, honored or respected or worshipped by you. You know, there, there are some things that you just need to take down and people, pictures you need to take down out of your house because you don't need to give them that respect. They're trying to hurt you. And I'm not saying... Eye for eye, tooth for a tooth, but I'm saying there's some boundaries. God gave you five senses. You need to use the one called the brain and use the wisdom that God gave you in God's word. Pray for them. Love them. Love them long distance. But it is what it is. They can't be in your presence. They can't be in your fold. They can't be in your circle. So I hope this message helps someone today to let you know that you don't always have to have people in your life that will continue to deceive you and hurt you and betray you and do things against you. You can take them out of your life and love them from a long distance. I hope you all enjoyed this message today. May God bless you and I love you. Stay tuned.